Okay guys, I just wanted to bring you a quick video to kind of show you my starting point for my new project. Uh, I watch a lot of videos from the channel called Cheaply Chic on YouTube, and she has these fabulous monthly subscription type kits, junk journal kits that you can purchase, and I think they're lovely and awesome, and while I've been like waiting to buy one, I know that I also have a ton of stuff in my stash that I need to use up. So what I did was I created my own kit similar to what she provides in her kit. So this top um, piece is the journal that I'm going to use. Um, I think she uses them. She uses them over the like whatever span of time she wants, but generally it's for the month. Um, and my this is going to be my attempt to journal regularly for a month. So what I've got here is I made a ton of these like single signature books for a craft show at one point and I have probably like not even joking like 30 to 45 of these things laying around. So I thought I'd use some of them up in this way. I decorated the cover a little bit with some lace, some fabric. It was a, it was a ribbon that was cut uh, multiple of these flowers. Anyway, uh, some sequin waste that was stapled on and a couple pieces of other fabric, a ribbon and stickers and words things. And the inside pages are really simple. It's just some, uh, the front page is a wallpaper cover and then it's just um, typing paper and computer paper and some old stationery. Um, some security envelopes, any kind of random blank-ish paper to make pages. So it's, it's really simple and like I said there's just um, 15 sheets of paper sewn together with a pamphlet stitch and so that it makes about 30 pages. So a page for each day of the month. So to go in this journal I made a kit of supplies, so that's what this is. I wrapped it in some sewing paper. So what I put in this kit is a bunch of random pieces that I thought would go together. So I made myself like a challenge supply kit. So using all of these things to do the journaling that I want to do. So what I've got is I've got a few pockets and things. I've got a couple of metal charms, some pearls to be made up, and a little cork piece, and some dimensional bling. Um, this is another book page pocket. It's got a, several tuck spots. And these um, book page pockets were actually sent to me, um, so I'm using up some things that people have sent to me. This is another uh, tag. And pocket that I've already altered. I just need to put it in something. And we have this little bag with an uh, altered paper clip. And in this little bag there's lots of little bitty pieces. Little tags. There's two of those little tags. And I have a little feather ephemera. Some punches from the hearts and scallops. A little bird, this little digital print of a bird, a couple of die cuts, sewing type die cuts, then I've got a couple heart punches, this bookmark was sent to me, it's like a harp, and I thought that was pretty. And I've got a couple of game cards, they're just letters on the back, but I thought the colors were nice. Got a leaf die cut and some tickets. Then in this paper bag, I've got a giant paper clip. And these, um, this is a real vintage tag. These uh, three tags are really what inspired me to do the theme of this journal. It was a challenge that I did for a Facebook group, and I really liked these tags and I really wanted to put them in something. So, they became like the style that I wanted to do for this journal. So I added those. They've got those to put in. I've got a couple extra manila tags. 
a couple of alteration tags, a blank tag, blank white tag, and a blank craft tag. And a couple other things that I pulled from my stash. I have these uh, black and white label stickers. I think they came from the Dollar Tree. I've had them in my stash for a couple years, and I just need to get them used, so I put those in there. This is a vellum envelope, another decorated paperclip with a little key charm. Then inside this, I have a sheet of black labels uh, and a couple of vintage ephemera of long distance phone call, a game, some kind of game thing. Or maybe it's a to-do list. I'm not sure. Old ephemera and a project life card. And then I've got another pocket here with just a copper paper clip. This one was a bag that was sent to me and they put a little bit of black lace on there. So I'm looking forward to making like a little closable pocket with it. And here I've got a couple of Project Life cards, a notebook pad, guest check, and a printable from one of my, it seems my Paris printable kit. It's what's a leftover from another project that I did it with. I've got a whole bunch of fibers. This was a this is gonna be a really big challenge for me because I don't normally use them other than maybe to top tags. So I included a bunch of these because I wanted to challenge myself to use them. The other things I've got is some scraps of paper, um, some doily scraps, a handwritten recipe. A book pages. I think there's a couple here. So I can do a lot with those. This old vintage notepad sheet. Then I've got like four of these pink doilies. Um, a page from a book that I thought had pretty illustrations. Uh, a couple of sheets of six by six paper. A couple of more paper scraps that I thought were nice to go with this. A dictionary page. It's got a really cool like picture of a castle on it. And the dresser on the back. I thought that was fun. A couple of scraps that I pulled from my ever-growing pile of scraps. This little bag has a gold paper clip. And in this bag we have some... Vintage tickets, another leaf die cut, a flashcard, a piece from a game, a little frame, a library card, and this bookmark that was sent to me in a subscription, sticker subscription thing. And then I just have a couple of blank pieces of paper. So this one's just a typing paper and a pink cardstock. And then I have, of course, have the sewing paper that I can decoupage on a lot of stuff. So that's my starting kit and I'm really looking forward to working in this and seeing if I can keep up with the month. So I'll post some of my process videos or some of my page spreads and show it off once it's done. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.